Holidays can be a challenging time, regardless of your dietary inclination. When you're a vegan in a family of non-vegans and or surrounded by non-vegan friends, things get even less merry. But fear not, because today I'm going to share my top tips for staying vegan during the holidays. Hi, it's Emily from Bite Size Vegan and welcome to another Vegan Nugget. While you always have the option of not eating with your family and friends for the holidays, if you want to be with loved ones who still eat, well, loved ones, hopefully these tips can help. For more resources on social situations, non-vegan family interaction, and holiday recipes, see the videos linked below. Now, let's jump right into my vegan holiday survival guide. These tips are designed to help new and existing vegans who have to or want to spend the holiday with non-vegans, but don't want to deal with arguments, debates, or familial strife. They are not to excuse or condone the tradition-backed slaughter and consumption of innocent beings, nor suggest that vegans should tiptoe around and cater to the desires and comforts of non-vegan friends and family. Some vegans want to preserve relationships, and some just want to make it through and get out of there. This is for you. To my militant, grandstanding vegans, do your thing. Tip number one, tell them. If you're going to be visiting family or a gathering of friends, make sure to inform your host that you're vegan and what that means. Be specific, but not overly complicated. Informing ahead of time helps avoid the awkward and potentially insulting experience of refusing to eat anything you're served. Tip number two, contribute. Offer to bring your own dish to share. This can help lighten their load and ensure you have something to eat, with the added bonus of helping non-vegans see just how delicious vegan food can be. Tip number three, pre-fill. If you're sure there's not going to be much for you to eat and bringing your own food doesn't feel right, eat your meal beforehand and stick to the safe sides at the gathering. But watch out for the sneaky non-vegan dishes we'll discuss soon. Tip number four, don't freak out. Social gatherings, and family gatherings in particular, are already stressful for many of us. Add in vegan angst and the heartbreak and frustration of seeing loved ones eating loved ones, and it's easy to lose your cool. Try to stay grounded, or numb out. This usually isn't the best time for a vegan stump speech. However, tip number five, anticipate the inquisition. It's very likely that you will receive questions about veganism. Be prepared with grounded, factual answers. Check out my entire series on common nutrition concerns with Dr. Greger, and I also have videos on the plant argument and what would happen if the world went vegan and more. However, tip number six, focus on family and friends. If you don't feel like defending or explaining, steer the conversation to non-food related talk. How is your cousin's school going? What did your friend think of the new movie out? It's perfectly okay to talk about other issues to get through the occasion without further bloodshed than what's already on their plates. Tip number seven, trample temptations. If you still have temptations for non-vegan foods, it's best to have a plan in place. Offer to bring a vegan version of the dessert or dish you crave the most. Find healthy vegan snack alternatives, simply drink more water, or, and this sounds ridiculous, but run away. And I don't mean bolt out of the house and down the street, just go into a different room, or start a conversation, or excuse yourself to the restroom to regroup. This is also a helpful tactic if conversation or emotions become too heated. Tip number eight, beware the stealth dishes and make alternatives. There are several common holiday dishes that at first glance appear vegan, but are usually not. Check out the Thanksgiving and Christmas recipe playlists linked below and the blog post for alternative recipes for your holiday favorites. Some to watch out for are, Mashed potatoes, which usually include butter and milk or cream, instead use vegetable broth and or plant milk and or coconut or olive oil. Gravy, which is usually made from the juice of roasted meat. For an alternative, you can make mushroom gravy. Cranberry sauce, which often contains gelatin. Cooked long enough, the natural pectin in cranberries will thicken the sauce. Otherwise, use ground flax seeds or agar powder. Green bean casserole, which usually contains milk and cheese, is easily swapped with vegan options. Homemade biscuits, which usually contain butter, but can easily be made without or with a substitute. Pumpkin pie, which often has eggs, cream, and butter, all of which can be substituted. And stuffing is usually baked in the gutted out body cavity of a turkey carcass. Instead, don't bake it inside the gutted out body cavity of a turkey carcass. Maybe use a casserole dish. I'd love to hear what you thought of this guide and what your plans are for the holidays. If you found this guide helpful, give it a big thumbs up and share it around to help others during the holidays. If you're new here, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. 
I put out new vegan content every Monday, Wednesday, and some Fridays. If you want to help support Bite Size Vegan's educational efforts, check out either of the support links below or click on the Nugget Army icon or the link in the sidebar. Now go live vegan, veganize your holidays, and I'll see you soon. When it comes to interacting with non-vegans, if all else fails... That's coming in Wednesday she, night. Oh, right. And she's going to stay here with you. She is. Yeah, that's my kind of Christmas.